Prince George's birthday. How Kate and William won't make the same mistake as Royals passed. Prince George turned seven today, and Prince William and Kate Middleton released two new adorable pictures of him, proving how the couple will not be making a mistake of royal past. Previously, some royal families have made the mistake of shutting their children away from the world and accidentally inciting anti-monarchist movements. For example, one of the contributing factors of for the Russian Revolution was the way the Romanovs decided to deal with their sick child. Rather than admit that the heir, Alexei, was unwell, they invited Grigory Rasputin to the palace and begged him to make their son better. However, this only fueled rumors that Rasputin was pulling the tar strings, having an affair with the Tsar's wife, and even putting curses on people. It was Rasputin's terrible reputation that helped discredit the Tsar's Israel government and helped precipitate the overthrow of the Romanov dynasty altogether which happened a few weeks after he was assassinated. However, the Russian royal family are not the only ones to make a mistake in hiding their child away. King George No. 5, Genghis' son Prince John, suffered from severe epilepsy and possible autism and was sent to love in sending him out of the public eye. While it was argued that it was for John's well-being, the royals were accused of secluding him out of shame and it was used as evidence of the inhumanity of the royal family. John died in 1990, aged 13, after his condition deteriorated. In these two instances, royals from the early 20th century were trying to protect their sons but in doing so, it sparked anti-monarchy feelings. Kate and William, however, seem to be determined to balance their children's privacy with an understanding that there is public interest in their lives. While they ask that paparazzi do not take photographs of the children, they regularly release photos for special occasions such as birthdays, weddings, christenings as well as nationwide celebrations like Mother's Day and Father's Day. Emily Nash, royal reporter for Hello Magazine, explained in the 2017 documentary, Kate, The Making of a Modern Queen, how the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have reached an understanding with the media about photographs of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. She said, I think William understands that there is a huge public interest in their lives and affection towards them as a result of that, and that the media is necessary, certainly when it comes to conveying messages. I think he totally understands that this is a vital tool for him. Kensington Palace was warned against the use of paparazzi photographs of the children in particular. Although they are still being taken quite frequently, there aren't any UK publications that will use them, and I think that's probably helped a great deal in reassuring him. Instead, we have William and Kate choosing when they want to issue photographs of the children. Kate and William are not the only royals learning from past mistakes, however, other royals have been very honest about medical conditions they or their children suffer. Instead of trying to hide disabilities from the world, they acknowledge them and even use that experience to help others. For example, Princess Eugenie had scoliosis as a youngster and then in 2011 visited the Royal National Orthopedic Hospital where she had received surgery to correct it. In 2012, she agreed to be the patron for the hospital's redevelopment appeal, which was her first patronage. 
Sophie, Countess of Wessex, has been very honest about her daughter Lady Louis Windsor's eye condition, esotropia, which was corrected with surgery in 2014. As a result of her experience with Louis, Sophie has championed causes that tackle preventative blindness, including Vision 2020, the right to sight. In this way, the modern British royal family have learned from the mistakes of the past, are showing off their children to the world instead of hiding them away, and are being open and honest about disabilities and difficulties they experience and using those for good.